Hi, Ni hao, Chef Tang. Special request, Beijing pork chop, which is like a Tang Chu Pai Gu, basically. Uh, for the vegetable, I have green, red bell pepper, mushroom, chopped onion, and pork chop. You can use with a bone or boneless, and they come with different thickness cut. This one is pretty thin. So, look beautiful. This is about a pound here. If you have a pork chop that's nice and thick, some are very thick. So you see the white trim, white part here, which is the fat. So you, what you want to do is you want to give them a couple cut like this. All right. So when you cook it, the pork will not try to be like shrinking and, and hold it together. They will kind of nice and flat and will look nice. You touch meat. You want to make sure you wash your hand really good. All right, a pinch of salt, some black pepper, some Shin cooking wine, not much, just a splash like that. We just want to marinate the pork chop to make it nice and tender. Got a chopstick here. And a fork, just gonna toss it. Make sure they coat, seasoning everything nice evenly. Smell really good. One more ingredient: sesame oil. Black pepper or white pepper, sesame oil, and sherry cooking wine or sauchin wine. When you mix it together, marinate protein, get them a really nice flavor. Always. I'm gonna crack my egg. Mix it a little bit. Give them a nice marinated, make the pork chop nice and tender. This pork chop is pretty thin, right? If this is a thicker, you can tenderize it. Get it even more tender. Stay on the side. And here I got cornstarch and flour mixed together. It's just for the binding, it's just for like a coating, you know. You can use rice flour, potatoes flour, breadcrumb, anything. So we're just gonna take one pork chop here. Get them a nice coating with the flour, like this. And put it on the side. Okay, let's do this. Shallow pan fry. Vegetable cooking oil. I'm trying to use the wok to cook this. You can use like a cast iron or anything with a flat frying pan would be great. So I want to make sure the oil is pretty hot right here. I put medium high heat and then I'm just going to add the pork chop in. One by one. Rotate the pork chop like this. I probably cook like three minutes on each side. We want to make sure the pork chop cook evenly. We want to make sure you don't want to use too high heat. We just want to crispy the outside and inside still nice and tender. I think this three pieces are done. We're just gonna get a plate. Medium high heat vegetable cooking oil. 
and we're gonna add in the vegetable in. We're gonna make the sweet and sour sauce. Ginger and garlic in. Get them a quick stir. Next, we're gonna add some poison sauce. Ketchup. Some apple cider vinegar, or you can use uh, rice vinegar. And some sugar, I'm just going to use granulated sugar. Some soy sauce, not too much. And just add a little bit of water. Just like that. And then we're going to mix it up. And once you see a little bubble coming out simmer, we're going to give them a quick taste. Wow. Delicious. Ginger, garlic, poison soy sauce, sweet and sour balanced flavor, ketchup. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit too thick, so we add some water. That's about the right consistency because we're going to let them cook for a few more minutes, reduce down, and then we're just going to pour over top of that pork chop. Another way to make this is you can deep fry the pork loin or pork chop into like little pieces and then add it in with the sauce and toss it a few times, done. So this is about right. Not looking good. Sesame oil in. The sauce is done. Now you're just gonna pour the sauce over top of this beautiful pork chop, just like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And then we love cilantro or green onion. Just gonna give them some touch right here. How beautiful and colorful. Here we go. Here's your Beijing pork chop. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tan. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.